there's a lot of people out there with these iPods, iPod Touches, um, and all the Apple devices. Now, if you have one of those, you're probably tethered to the iTunes service. I want to tell you guys that you don't have to be. There are choices out there for you, especially if you're using a PC. Um, you may not have heard of the program, but it's called FUBAR. It sounds better than iTunes. It's much lower profile, meaning it's not going to eat up all your system resources. Um, and it's just totally customizable, and you can sync it with your iPod. So what I'm going to teach you guys how to do is break free of uh, the iTunes software platform and uh, update your device from inside FUBAR. I'll make another video later if you've never heard of FUBAR so you guys can really uh, see what FUBAR can do and how you can use it to make your life better. It's all about being happy and doing what's good for you, man. Okay, to start moving away from iTunes, here's what you're gonna need. Put everything in this folder here so you can see. Uh, first up, you're gonna need a copy of iTunes. Do not get the newest version of iTunes because it does not work. Do not install the newest version of iTunes. Do not update your iPod. If you update your iPod or your iDevice, you're probably going to have to downgrade it before this is going to work. So uh, where you can go here to get an older version of, um, of iTunes is oldapps.com forward slash iTunes dot PHP. Or you can just type oldapps.com uh, and, and then iTunes into Google if you can't remember that. Or it should be pretty easy. Um, here's a bunch of different versions. Just grab, I don't know, version 10. You can get 64-bit or the 32-bit, whichever one uh, is good for you. Bunch of 64-bit ones there. Several different versions here. Just don't grab the newest one. I grabbed like 10 point, uh, I don't know, something. 10.4 or 10.2, I don't know. Grab one of those and you'll be fine. Download that. Uh, you're also gonna need um, a zipping program or a compression program like WinRAR. I grabbed uh, 7-zip right here. And uh, you're gonna need a copy of FUBAR, I am going to assume that you already have that installed. If you don't, I will slap you with a fish. Uh, and then you're going to need a component that I'll show you um, here in just a second from uh, FUBAR's website. So first thing, make sure you have uh, your you know decompression software installed. And uh, go and find your iTunes setup. Now right click on this. If you're using 7-Zip, you'll have this uh, dialog menu here. I'm going to open this archive. Now you can just uh, right click on it, open it with WinRAR, and open the archive. Now inside here you see all the contents. There's only a few things in here. The package is just full of executable files. When, uh, when you install iTunes, all this junk gets installed on your computer. Apple software update that bothers you all the time. You want to update your stuff? Hey man, there's a newer version of some stuff. You want to update it? No, I do not. You need QuickTime. You need Apple application support. Support? Support? Support, yes, you do. And Apple mobile device support. You need those three things. Just grab them right there. Blam, there they are. Now you just go through the installation process on all of these. I usually install QuickTime first, then Apple application support, then Apple mobile device support. I already have all three of those things installed, but do them in that order and you shouldn't have any trouble and uh, you'll be just fine. Go just click next, 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 yes. Uh, next up, you're gonna want to uh, go over to FUBAR's website and grab some components here. So head over to FUBAR2000.org and at the top of the page here, let me go back. You see components, click on components. Uh, what you want is the iPod manager. So, uh, uh, where is it? There it is, iPod manager right there. So you're just gonna want to uh, grab this, click on that, and then here I'll give you a list, click on home page. And once you get to the home page for the iPod manager, there'll be a spot to download the newest version. Right there it is. I'm gonna grab this one because that one's experimental. Grab the latest stable version. Save it into my kill iTunes folder. Yay. All right, I'll go back over there to the, where I've just downloaded that. Oh, there's a newer version. Cool. So inside here, there's a DLL file. Dynamic Link Library, how lovely. There it is. I'm using WinRAR and 7-Zip. I'm confusing everybody. All right, so that DLL file, I'll need that. I'm gonna take this DLL file here and I'm gonna put it into the components directory of my uh, installation of FUBAR. I will assume that you already have FUBAR installed. So, 
um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna navigate to your installation directory. The default is program files, uh, parentheses, x86, foobar2000. Mine's in a different spot, so I'll go ahead and grab that. All right, so there we are. We are in our foobar2000 folder, components. Now we're just gonna drop that DLL right in there. Yes, sir. That's got a lock on it. That's fine. All right, that's in there. Everything should be all good now. When you open up FUBAR, your FUBAR might look different than mine. But when you open up FUBAR, and give me a second, I'll connect my iPod so you can see how this is going to work. You'll already notice that you have an iPod mem uh, menu here where you can load your iPod library, rewrite the database if you like, all kinds of things. Some set up some synchronization, even eject it right from here. Uh, but I am going to just send some things to the iPod. You can click on an album, right click, go to iPod, and send to iPod. Oh my goodness gracious. There's no iTunes involved. All right, so now uh, you know how to get away from iTunes. Send me a thank you letter, logan at tigerdirect.com. You can also send me a uh, PayPal uh, to say thank you. I will take now, I'll probably get in trouble for that. No, don't do that. Send me a check so uh, Tiger doesn't find out about it and get me in trouble. Enjoy FUBAR. Enjoy your new life free of iTunes. And uh, go out tonight and enjoy a, a wonderful uh, glass of apple juice.